incredible trip to the most gorgeous place in the world. And we are gonna talk about an amazing tradition from the Connemara Kitchen. This is the three count of the 50, actually three of the 50 count of the Irish inspired summer teas. Uh, I, I adore Ireland. I love my trips to Ireland. I We went recently and we just fell in love with not only the beautiful landscape, but the people and the history. And the tradition of tea is one that so many of our families have. And this is how you get 150 tea bags headed your way. You can celebrate a memory or you can just celebrate a heritage or just celebrate a quiet moment of Zen. Folks have said this is so refreshing. It brought back memories, but you're getting three of the caddies of tea bags, 50 each of breakfast, honey and berry blast. And there's not many of these left to go around. This is our final quantities and our final order for the year. It's 25 cents per cup of tea. And guess who's here? My cup of tea, Stephen Walsh. He is joining us live via Skype to talk to us all about this beautiful tradition. Stephen, it's so good to see you. How are are you? I'm good, Mary. Welcome to the Connemara Kitchen here in Ireland. Welcome to summertime in Ireland. And it's just such fun to have a join you for a cup of tea. And let me tell you all about the Connemara Kitchen. We would love to hear it. And Stephen, when it comes to I, the Irish tea that you're bringing to us, what makes it different? Well, we Irish are the second highest per capita of tea drinkers in the world. We drink more tea per capita than our British neighbours. In fact, we owe tea drinking to our friends in Britain because they introduced tea to Ireland in about the 17th, 18th century. And, you know, we've just fallen in love with it. And the Connemara kitchen is inspired by those beautiful scenes of Connemara, that rugged landscape, that most beautiful place in the world. As you know, we bring you Connemara marble. You'll see me in a couple of weeks on the Rose of Tralee show. Ooh. But that's the whole inspiration of this beauty of Connemara. When I come to the quarry, which is about three hours drive from Dublin, the very first thing I would do is stop for a cup of tea in Marty and Maureen's kitchen. <laughs> and we would start the day with our breakfast tea. Now, you wouldn't get out of bed in Ireland without having a cup of breakfast tea. We've also, by the way, I'm going to talk about in a minute about our wild berry tea. This is inspired by the hedgerows of Ireland. And then, of course, we have the honey flavour tea. Look at the handsome way these are presented beautiful. in these beautiful caddies. There's 50 tea bags in each caddy and they're just gorgeous, Mary. These are lovely. Well, I had to I had to show you something today, Stephen. I wore my hurling jersey just for you in oh, our studio look. today and uh, <laughs> just wanted you to know that we are very excited about Rose of Tralee and when we spent some time in Kilmacow, I uh, was gifted a hurling jersey and so I wore it in your honor today for the show. Well, thank you. We appreciate that. I know you had a wonderful time in Ireland and I hope you'll, you'll, you'll come back before too long. But in the meantime, you've got this <laughs> taste of Ireland that you can enjoy yourself and share with your friends. So will I, will I talk, talk you through? Because a key thing, Mary, you Americans, you rush your tea. You've got to let that tea bag steep thank in there you. for at least three minutes. Tea drinking is as you say, it's that moment of calm, that moment of friendship, that moment where stories are told, legends are created, friendships are made, problems are solved. So let it steep, let it relax. And let me tell you, first of all, about our breakfast tea. Now, breakfast tea in Ireland, as I said a moment ago, you wouldn't start the day without. This is a robust blend of Ireland's most popular tea. You'd, you, we would, could serve that like straight up maybe with a slice of lemon or maybe with milk. This mm. is absolutely your number one. Again, you get 50 tea bags in that beautiful caddy. Then come for a walk along the lanes of Ireland. Now using, and you can see on the tin, I actually took that photograph myself wow. of the berries that grow in the hedgerows. I was literally out yesterday morning down in West Cork and the berries were out there just coming into bloom. Now this one, I would recommend taking berry, the berry tea with some milk, full cream milk, or maybe even cream if you want, and then a spoonful or two of sugar. And that really, really brings out that berry flavor. And after we, we've been chatting now for about three minutes or so, so I'm gonna take the tea bag out and you can just see for yourself that lovely, mm. gorgeous cup of tea. Mm -hmm. I bet that's good. It's good. And then if you could only, if I could just get you to kind of reach through know, the TV, the aroma of these berry teas are just gorgeous. And again, in that lovely, lovely collectible box. And then last of all, 
is your honey tea. Now, again, mm. I would take this with a slice of lemon because that just brings out the honey tea. And in Ireland, the, the whole tradition, again, there's that honey flavour in there and that honey scent in those tea bags. And again, in Ireland, we have St. Mulliga, who was the patron saint of the Abbey of Timolig, Tig Mulliga, the House of Mulliga, where beekeeping was kept. Down oh, wow. further in West Cork, you have uh, the famous legend of St. Gubnut. Now, when her monastery was being attacked out in West Cork, she turned her bees into soldiers to repel the forces. So we have this huge honey drinking tradition here in our, our the tradition of honey, should I say, and we've taken that inspiration and put it in your honey tea. So these are literally summertime. You'll hear the, 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 the bees at work work in the hedgerows, you'll see the berries just coming in to, to full flavour and then your breakfast tea. These are just such a lovely collection of summertime in Ireland. I mean, can you imagine? There's fewer than 300 to go around Oh my now. goodness. I know. And there that'll are... be it because it'll be next summer before these come around again, Mary. That's completely it. And, and the deal is they're free shipping too. So you can get them today on five easy payments of $7.60. But you know, I was reading through the reviews and folks were saying things like it's so refreshing. It brought back memories for me. And you can take that trip every single time you take a sip too. But remember, when you're getting something from the Connemara kitchen, you're getting your own moment of peace. You're getting your own beautiful, rich flavor. And when you get these, it's 25 cents per cup of tea. And so that value is extraordinary. But, you know, the legend and the history and the family. And, you know, I love when you talk to us, Stephen, about the story of the Connemara Kitchen. And you mention names and you talk about, you know, different lanes that you're traveling down and the pictures that you took yourself. I mean, those are those are the moments that so many of us find solace when we get to share in the stories of others. And so we're so excited that it's in the show today. I'm thrilled and honoured to bring it. And I say, it's, it's the flavour of Ireland, the taste yes. of Ireland. And you can just enjoy it. As I say, it's therapy in a teacup, as I said <laughs> a moment ago. You know, crikey, you know, as if for 25 cents a tea bag, like, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot cheaper than going to your, going down to your, 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 your doctor's well, room, isn't true. it? And you can cure a problem. Again, in the, when we're quarrying in Connemara, I say we wouldn't start the day without a cup of tea at three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm sure you when you were here in Ireland, Mary, you remember the nation oh gosh, falls yes. silent at three o'clock because <laughs> we're all having our cup of tea. That's and again, true. in the we do, we, we take our tea drinking very seriously. Say we, we drink more tea per capita than our English neighbours. And this is just the taste of Ireland the flavour of summer in Ireland. I'm so proud of these. I know you'll enjoy them when you'll get them home. I'm looking forward to seeing you say on Rose of Tralee in a couple of weeks. Can't and wait. thank you for wearing your, 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 your Irish or hurling jersey of today. Of course, I wanted to celebrate and support from afar. And yes, we will be back one day. And now there are fewer than, I think, two, 200 to go around. Oh my goodness. So these are going quickly. And Stephen, we'll count down the days to Rose of Tralee. Thank you for joining us today. A pleasure. Lovely to see you and enjoy the rest Thanks. of your afternoon, Mary. Great Thank to chat you. to you. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Um, hey, everybody, just a little